Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome to another episode of the Modern Kitchen Renovation Series. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, be sure to check them out. This is episode seven, so be sure to check out one through six. In our previous episode, we actually talked about building a generic cabinet family for uh, sketching out our design. Before that, we talked about actually sketching the design. We modeled existing conditions, so be sure to check them out. Today, we're going to talk about phasing and more importantly, uh, demolition and creating demolition drawings and, and that whole piece of it. Before we can lay out our actual design to see how it fits, we do need to demo the existing cabinets that we modeled in the previous episodes. So I'm going to take a quick moment to sort of run through some of the basics of phasing um, as it relates to this project, as well as show you some of my graphic settings for phasing and some of the phase filter settings that I have set up in my project. So for anyone who's kind of struggled with understanding phasing and demo and demolition plans and all that stuff and Revit, this one's for you. But before we jump in, I do want to take a moment to thank our sponsor for this series, and that is RevitFamily.biz. If you're looking for fully built packaged families, especially for residential like cabinets, walls, doors, etc., then head on over and save 20% now by using the offer code 2022 Revit Kid and clicking the link in the description or up there um, and checking out this clip right now. So when it comes to phasing, there's a couple things you need to know. And a lot of people tend to overcomplicate it in their minds. Okay, so I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible, especially as it relates to this project, which is pretty basic. It's existing condition, demo drawings, new kitchen, right? It's, it's pretty straightforward. We're not going to talk about multiple phasing in between. I'm just going to talk about that, um, how to set up a set of existing demolition and new construction plans. So step one when it comes to phasing in revit is to understand that there is no demolition phase okay that is not a phase in your timeline that is not a moment in time in your timeline okay the way revit works is you have existing conditions you have new construction and then you have elements that are demolished in a phase okay so when we have existing condition right we just modeled our walls, doors, windows, our cabinets, right? We modeled all of that in the existing conditions phase. Now, whatever we're removing, we're gonna say those elements have been demolished in our new construction phase, okay? So they existed in existing, and they no longer exist in our new construction. They've been demolished, okay? There's no need for an in-between. So when I want you to think about phasing, think about moments in time, and then think about were those elements created in that moment in time, or were they demolished in that moment in time? And that's really the basics of it all. So for example, existing conditions or existing phase, whatever you wanna call it in your project, just existing maybe, what was created in that time? It's everything that exists, right? In new construction, what was created in that time? It's gonna be all of your new stuff, new siding, new walls, new doors, new windows, whatever, right? And then anything that's demolished is going to be demolished in a new construction because it has to be demolished before we can actually put something new in its place, let's say if they're overlapping. So hopefully that was a little bit of a basic overview of phasing itself. And then now I'm gonna jump into the Revit model of, of this kitchen and show you how I actually demoed pieces of the cabinet, pieces of the wall in order to allow for certain things like windows and larger windows and so on and so forth. And then also some of the graphic settings that I use to make my demo plans and my 3D images of demo, uh, demolition a little more clear and understanding as opposed to the out of the box visual settings for, for your demo plans. So now here I'm in Revit, and what you're gonna see here is I've actually already demoed or demolished my cabinet. So I'm gonna change my 3D view to show um, the new construction phase, and then my phase filter is gonna be show all. So it's gonna show new and existing and demoed. Okay, so you can see they're already demolished here. So these casework, I've selected them, 
and I said phase created was existing and phase demolished was new construction. So now what you'll see is I, as I go through this design, um, I'm going to be opening up this uh, this angled corner of this of this um, house. And uh, for that, I'm going to need to actually demolish parts of the window and parts of the walls. First, I'm going to demolish these existing windows. So you notice I'm just selecting them. So I'm just holding control and I'm selecting the windows and they're created on existing phase and the phase demolish is going to be new construction. And when I click apply, what you'll notice is that you're seeing um, the infill because we're on show all and then you're seeing the demo already set up. They're turning red, they're turning dashed and all that good stuff. So and then Revit's automatically infilling that opening with the, the wall type that's there. Now I'm going to demolish the uh, floor baseboard heating and you'll see there you go. So again, selecting it, changing its uh, phase demolished to new construction. And now you can see in the demo plans, we have a really, really nice looking view. All right, so I'm going to show you what these phase filters look like for this view. So you can see here's my phase filters and they're pretty much the out of the box. The difference is what you see here. So I have a thick line is dark red. I've thickened it up. I have two pochets going on for projection and then I have two pochets going on for for fill. Um, and you can see some of the settings I've got going on here. And then I do have the phase demo override for material. But that's the key here is I have a solid fill red and then I have a diagonal cross hatch for um, for my my projection lines. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split this existing wall and make room for this corner floor to ceiling window. So I just used the SL on my keyboard for split. I selected the wall itself. You can see here's the wall itself. And then I'm going to say phase demolished new construction phase created was existing. So now I've opened up this wall for myself to actually build a floor to ceiling um, height window in that corner. Before I only did the windows and I didn't have enough space, right? I would, I would need to demo the walls as well. Another space here that we're going to open up. So initially I thought I was going to leave part of this wall here. So what I'm doing is I'm just drawing a reference plane that's at two feet and I'm going to split this wall and I'm going to demolish this wall as well. Notice how I have to split the existing, right? Because uh, I'm, I don't want to blow up the entire existing wall. I'm only splitting it where I want it to. What you'll see as this design progresses is that I actually end up demoing that entire wall. But um, for now, um, I'm using SL on my keyboard for the split command. I'm going to split that wall along this reference plane here. Same thing on the corner. I'm going to split this. And you'll also notice that here I'm actually going to split it as close as I can. Sometimes you have to split and trim it afterwards. But if I select the opening on the wall and I say phase demolish new construction, um, you can see here now I'm just kind of aligning and, and, and adjusting the existing to make it clean. Um, as I mentioned before, sometimes you need to trim it after the fact um, because now it is two wall instances. It's not one straight wall instance anymore. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. <laughs> it's pretty quick. Um, but as long as you have those phase filters and those settings set up, then everything's going to look okay. Those demo drawings look good. And now I've got a clean slate. When I when I go to my new new construction view and I say show previous and new as my phase filter, all the demo stuff gets hidden and I have this nice clean view ready to fill in. So in our next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fill in using our generic cabinet model that we created. I'm going to fill in using our sketches and we're going to use Enscape to sort of jump inside and we're going to look between the sketch, Enscape, the floor plan, and we're going to start honing in on this design before we actually convert it into high quality cabinets, um, renderings and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. I look, I look forward to showing it to you guys and, uh, and please comment uh, below if you like this and subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next episode.